What up, Nick Nation? It's your boy Phil Porto of Nick's Morning Brew, back with another episode of the good, the bad, and the ugly of yesterday's game against the Boston Celtics. So let's jump right into it. The good, hands down, Julius freaking Randle. Holy crap, what a performance. It was honestly enjoyable to watch Julius play last night. So I wore my dunk shirt today specifically for today's episode and this right here because this is one of my favorite plays when John Starks dunked on the Chicago Bulls and posterized them. That was a classic moment. And last night, Julius Randle had two of those things and they were monstrous dunks. They were super, super impressive. And what was more impressive to me was not his dunks, okay? So even more so than his dunks was his hustle. There was that one play where we threw away the pass and it could have been a turnover at a very, very crucial point in the game. And Julius Randle hustled and ran, tracked down the ball at center court before it went over the line and saved that possession for us. So I got to give it up to Julius Randle. I also didn't see the excessive dribbling or the uh, throwing the ball away or dribbling or jumping into triple or double coverage. And he just played a solid, solid game. So give me a few more games of those and I will be on the Knicks store ordering a white Julius Randle jersey, and I will then send in a letter of apology to him, his wife, his mom, his cousin, whoever, because that was impressive. And if that's the kind of Julius Randle that we can get for the rest of the season and moving forward, then you won't hear trade talks ever come out of my mouth again. But I want to see it to believe it. But hats off to Julius Randle. That was a stellar performance. So moving to the bad. All right. I'm going to stick to what I have been saying, and that is that ball movement and lack of creative offense is an issue, okay? So last night showed that this roster possibly could work, even with ISO-driven players like Randall, Brunson, and RJ, okay? But imagine if ISO ball was only half of what our team had to offer. Imagine if the other half of our offense was creative plays of Grimes off the dribble um, or Grimes cutting or Obi Toppin cutting to the basket and set and pick and rolls and actually having a creative um, structure to our offense. Mix that with our iso ball, that only opens the opportunities for the iso ball even more. And it would make our main three guys more effective when it comes to iso ball if we had the defense guessing. So let's go to the ugly. The ugly for me was the face I made when I saw that Julius Randle dunk on Jason Tatum. It was straight ooh, stank face. Oh my goodness. Like I was blown away by that possession. That sledgehammer dunk on the number three for Kia's MVP ladder was nasty. And I mean nasty. Even had Reggie Miller saying that Randall would be signing the posters after the game. It was that good of a dunk. So I have to give it up again. Randall gets my good and he gets my ugly this episode. So until next time, blessings.